about you guys, but I love free stuff. When we're out traveling, I am always typing into Google free things to do in Pigeon Forge, free things to do here, free things to do there, and just seeing what comes up. It doesn't hurt to look out there. So um, on this trip to Pigeon Forge, um, we actually stayed in Townsend, Tennessee. I Googled free stuff to do. One of the things I found was the Rocky Top uh, wine tour. Now, if you're a wine drinker, you're going to love this. If you're not, just skip on and find another free adventure. But this one was, I was very surprised. Um, online, it does say free. And, but I figured once you got to each of the wineries, you'd have to pay a little something to do the wine tasting. Nope. It was all free. No one asked for any money anywhere. And I got two free gifts. Fabulous. So let me walk you through. So the first thing you're going to want to do is head over to the website. I'll put the link in the description. At the website, it'll give all the information about the five wineries. Okay, while you're there, you'll want to be sure to fill out this sample itinerary request guide, and it will have your passport. Print it off, take it to the wineries. Now, they traded my printable passport for this nice card you see here. All my stamps are done. Okay, we visited all five wineries, and we loved them each one of them. Now the tastings are free. You get four to five tastings um, just depending um, there and they're all free, free tastings. Um, of course they're trying to sell you wine so it is kind of nice if you find something you like to make a purchase. Um, the first winery that we went to was Hillside uh, Winery and they did a fantastic job. So we tasted and we we're like eh, and then they started giving us other samples of like their slushy wine and their mold wine. And then we were sold. So we got a little more tastings at Hillside. Um, so what they ended up selling us, which we absolutely loved, was a mold wine. You put it in the crock pot with some of their uh, mulling spices. And I think you're supposed to put some juice in with this one. Put it in the crock pot, let it heat up, and it was a nice, warm uh, mold wine. It's just going to be great. So they actually sold us that because we were camping in the cold. And I was like, oh, we could put this in the crock pot. Fabulous, fabulous idea. So that was the first one. The second one we went to was the Apple Barn uh, Winery and they had like a cider house. And those two are right next to each other. You can park and then walk to both of them there. And then maybe even have some lunch there at the Apple Barn. So the first wine, this is the first wine we got there. It's an apple cranberry. Really nice. I like tutti frutti wines and sweet wines. And then um, the second one, um, we stopped at the Cider House. This stuff, guys, is delicious. I should have bought a six pack. I only bought one, so I'm waiting for a special occasion to have that. So let me tell you about the gifts that you get. So when I saw online, you get, after doing the first three wineries, you get a gift. I figured it was probably a wine glass because a lot of places do give you a free wine glass. And y'all, this is the wine glass that we got. It is fabulous. I love a nice thin rim. It's just, it's great when you're sipping your wine. And this one is fabulous. Here, let me take the napkin out so you can see the shape of it. Very cool, absolutely free. Well, I did buy three bottles of wine, but I might would have bought three bottles of wine anyway. Okay, and then the after you visit all five wineries, you got this. And this I was very surprised about, but look, is that not adorable? It's like a little um, Swiss Army knife. It has this corkscrew, of course, it's wine tasting. It has a screwdriver. I think these are scissors, nope. It's like a fingernail file and pick there. Um, on this side is that scissors. Well, there's the knife. But let me cut myself while I'm showing this to you. A uh, bottle opener, and my fingernails are too, let's see, Ugh. there we go. These are made for men because women have too long of nails. And then cool scissors, and of course I had a bottle opener, and then, I don't know, a flathead screwdriver right there. I can't get it open because my nails are too long. But is that not fabulous? Fabulous free, again, just for going to all five wineries. So if y'all have a chance to um, do this while you're in Pigeon Forge, it took us, 
uh, several hours to do. We were not in a hurry. It was actually kind of a rainy day um, and cold, so it was great for a rainy cold day. Most of the wineries are within a very short distance, so um, go to their website, sign up for their free itinerary uh, to travel, um, get you a designated driver, and enjoy your free wine tour. I hope you found this information helpful. If you did, be sure to like, share my channel, subscribe, and leave me a comment.